Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So, I'm in Moscow, Russia. It's just like any other big city, like New York City. It's huge. It's over 15 million people, and the metro is enormous. A million different lines. You can go anywhere in the city, but sometimes it takes up to an hour and a half just to get from one point to the other. It's insane. Most Russians do not know English, but it's okay. Uh, they have kind of cold faces. They don't really smile when they talk to you. But when you get to know them, and if they speak English at all, they will they will be your friend, and you will love them. And some examples of that are Sviata, who is our coordinator. She has lived in Russia her whole life, and she's an, another person who's been an angel to us is Dina. She only speaks Russian. She works at the cafe that we eat at every single day, and she is just the kindest lady in the entire world. She gives us hugs and food and is just so kind. I love her so much and I'm so grateful for her. I teach with 10 other people, uh, Hayden, our head teacher. Then at my school is Camille, who's become one of my greatest friends. She's so sweet and loving and validating and an awesome co-teacher. Then there's the Bodens, Caitlin and Kylie, they're twins. They teach at Prophet Sayuzna. Yep, nailed it. Then at the office, there's Kelsey, Brooklyn, and Rachel. They're really nice girls. They teach older kids, kind of sassy. And then there is Lily and Malia, and they teach. So Lily and Malia teach clear out in the countryside, and they're really nice girls too. Uh, almost all of us are Mormon. Four of them aren't, uh, and we go to church and we go to institute. I've really enjoyed it. And it's just an amazing experience to go to church every Sunday. Church is not as established as it is in America. Uh, the Russian Orthodox Church here in Russia really doesn't want the LDS Church to spread, so it's made a bunch of really silly laws with everything from even publication. The church isn't able to write the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on documents. There's just a whole bunch of silly things that are making it very expensive for the church to exist here in Russia. And so it's been a real blessing to be able to feel the spirit in Russia. In this age of technology, it's still been really easy to connect with my friends through Facebook Messenger and Skype. And I'm so grateful for that. I check my email every day. I talk to my mom every day. And it's so nice to have modern communication that allows me from over a million miles away across the world to be able to speak to my friends and stay connected. I'm really grateful for that. I am... I've loved teaching. It's been very hard. For sure. At the start of the semester, I had no idea what I was doing. I had taught at the Boys and Girls Club art program in high school, and that was a little bit similar, doing arts and crafts. But there I was only a helper, and it was to about 16 kids at a time. Here, I'm the teacher, alone. And so I teach activities every single day, arts and crafts, drama, gym, but I don't really do those ones much, and shop, and one other one that I clearly have not done enough. And it's been an awesome experience to become a better teacher, to learn and how to teach and how to connect with these kids and how to be strict and make sure that they understand the material while actually teaching them what they need to know. Today a new student came and he knew nothing and that really showed me that I really have taught these girls so much because in comparison these girls are speaking with me, asking normal things, asking normal questions, uh, saying that their work was done. They speak great English. Well, this kid, who is like those girls at the start, spoke zero English. And it really showed me that I've taught these girls that my teaching hasn't been for nothing. It's been a huge blessing for me to know that I've made an impact on these kids and I hope that they continue to learn English. And it's cool to think that I've been able to do this form of service. I'd like to bear my testimony that I know that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the true church restored upon the earth. Joseph Smith was the one, the prophet, who brought it back and restored it to the earth. He translated the Book of Mormon in a very short time, and I know that it's true because I've read it many times and have prayed about it, and it has so many amazing truths that will change your life, bring the Spirit into your life, and ultimately bring you happiness and bring you back to our Father in Heaven. I know that Thomas S. Monson is the current prophet of the church. I have a testimony that families can be together forever, and I'm so grateful for my family. And I'm just very grateful that families can be together forever because I love my family so much. I miss them really bad right now while I'm on my study abroad, and I'm so excited to spend eternity with them. Josh is currently on a mission in Mexico. He just left. He's a brand new missionary. He just went through the MTC. 
He's on fire, I think, and he's an amazing example to me of reading his scriptures every single day and just, he blows my, it blows my mind how smart he is in academics. He got a 34 on the ACT and it blows my mind how righteous he is. He reads his scriptures every single night and prays every single night. Like Nephi to his older brothers, Josh is an amazing example of diligence and righteousness going on a mission. Thousands of people have done it, but Josh, singularly to me, is an amazing example, and I'm so grateful for that. Nathan's also an awesome brother. All my family is so awesome. I'm so grateful, and I'm so grateful that I was given the opportunity by God to be put into this family of amazing people, to be the oldest and set an example for them, and I hope that I do set a good example for them. I'm so grateful for my amazing mom and my amazing dad and all that they support me with and all that they do. I would be nowhere without them. I know that Jesus is our savior and that he really did atone for us. And because of Jesus Christ, we have the opportunity to repent and live with our fa Father in heaven again and with our family forever. I am so grateful for the gospel in my life. It does bring me happiness. I know it's true. And I hope that I can live it for the rest of my life and be worthy to be back in the presence of God. And this is my testimony. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.